Hey guys, Game Wars 06 here, we're going to be back with another video. This time, I'm doing a similar type of thing that I did in my last video, except with Amino from Naruto. For those of you who uh, skipped uh, some of the episodes of Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, the ones that people call filler, even though they, they are canon to the anime specifically, they're just simply not in the manga. So for those of you who read the manga, it's essentially not manga material. Um, I've expressed this numerous times, anime and manga are entirely different, um, and as someone said, someone said to me, as soon as you translate a story to a different medium, it becomes an entirely different thing, so an anime and a manga are entirely different things, and one may make the argument that the manga is the story for the anime, Dragon Ball GT exists, there's no manga for Dragon Ball GT, and I know for a fact even without actually having to look it up, that there is not a, that Dragon Ball GT is not the only anime that exists that doesn't have a manga with a similar story. So with that in mind, Amino was introduced during, let's see, I believe that this started on 394, either 394 or 392 of Naruto Shippuden. This ended like 410, some basically right after um, Mara takes Kuruma from Naruto, Yang Kuruma specifically, because the Yang half of Kuruma is inside Minato. And then Mandaris, uh uses his limbo to grab Sasuke and stab him. Which during the time, there's no explanation for what exactly Mardra's limbo is. But later on, after Naruto. Achieve six path sage mode and Sasuke gets his own Renegon. It's explained that Madara's Limbo, um, they're, they're essentially clones of Madara that exist in an entirely different dimension that, pe that ordinary people can't sense whatsoever, which is why Sasuke before did not sense it when all of a sudden he just couldn't move and he was just held up in the air. Yeah, he had no defense against that, nor did he know what was going on. And I believe there is another time before that that Mardor used Limbo. I don't remember the specifics. But yeah, I do believe there was another time. It just wasn't that that wasn't expressed. So uh, back to this. So like the Tsunade one, this is basically a bus shot. So it just goes from the head to the chest. And I, after the Tsunade one, I just felt like I wanted to do another one. And yeah, so I chose someone who probably doesn't get much fan art. Because people tend to only look at the main cast of any particular series. Amino only appears in a few episodes within this arc. And, and by, oh, by this, this arc, essentially... Is the tuning exams after Naruto leaves the village. Naruto is still training with Jiraiya. He has no clue the tuning exams are being held. Uh, Uselessus joins Ino and Choji's team because since Shikamaru is already a tuning, Ino and Choji are missing a person since Naruto and Sasuke are both out of the village. So Useless needs two people in order to have one full team. Uh, she re um, At first, she um, denies their request, then, I think, then eventually she decides to join them. Yada yada yada. All these different teams go in. They do the first stage. The first stage of the the first test of the exam is hosted by Shikamaru. Basically, the idea is you. Let's see. There are three questions. So ev okay, for every three-man team, each person goes to a specific room. Room one, two, and three. Room A, B, and C. I don't remember if it was one through three or eight. Uh, oh yeah, it was one through three. It was rooms one, two, and three. And the idea is you have to answer. Okay, Shikamaru. Okay, so Shikamaru said that any any team that answers over 100 fails, and any team whose score is below the average fails. And essentially. Okay, yeah, yeah, so Shikamaru basically says the idea is 
for your team to score exactly 100 points. So, what you would, so, and any team that goes over 100 fails, any team that's below the average uh, would fail. So, in theory, each person can do 30. However, if anyone gets to 100, actually, Shikamaru doesn't necessarily say you have to score 100. He just says, yeah, I, I think I specifically remember. He says, anyone who, any team that goes over 100 fails. And there's two parts to this. I'm going to briefly explain both parts. Honestly, since this is a 10 minute video, I'm probably not going to be able to explain Omino's relevance here. But there are three questions. Everyone gets the same questions, everyone in each room. There's a 30 point question, there's a 40 point question, there's a 50 point question. Shikamaru says, anyone who goes over 100 fails. And there are a few ways that you can go over 100 with uh, with the questions. If one teammate does 30 and the other two do 40, that would be 110, that's a fail. If each person does 40, that's also a fail. If each person does 50, that is a fail. If the team does 40, 40, and 50, that's a fail. If a team does 30, 40, and 50, that's a fail. If a team did 40, 15, 50, that's a fail. So, the two ways that you can get 100 points is if one, one person answers the 30 point question, actually no, one person answers the 40 point question, the other two answer the 30 point question. Or, two people answer the 50 point question and one person doesn't answer. Those would be the two ways a team can pass. Uselessness during this does mention that this would be easier if Naruto were around because he is not smart enough to answer the 30 point question. Therefore, her and Sasuke in the hypothetical scenario would simply answer the 50 point question because they know that Naruto can't answer any of them because he's an absolute idiot. Uselessness is an absolutely worthless piece of garbage. However, she is right. Naruto is an absolute moron. That is expressed multiple times in the series. That is why it takes Naruto until he's between 15 and 16 and learn the basic concept of chakra natures. There's no one else who has to learn this concept. There's also no one who has... There's probably no one else who also has to learn about the concept of a Keke Genkai. I mean, Matsuri and Yukata knew that much at least, so... For the sake of, and you know, honestly, for this, like, Naruto being stupid is also a way to help the audience, because in the hypothetical, where Naruto isn't an idiot, what other opportunity would the show have to explain to the audience what the five basic changes in chakra nature are and what relationship they have with one another? When it's first explained to Naruto... It's explained that fire is superior to wind, but wind beats lightning. Uh, and also that water beats fire. Obvious reasons. And then later on, it's specifically expressed that lightning beats earth. And because it's expressed that lightning beats earth, and also Yamato does tell Naruto that he should be lucky that he, he didn't end up with earth style, because obviously if he did, he'd be at a disadvantage against Sasuke. Because Sasuke has lightning style and fire style, so... Um, Sasuke can simply use a lightning sound, he just have an advantage. So, yeah. I don't, now that I'm thinking about it, I just went from talking about the first test of the tuning exams to talking about chakra natures and their relationship with one another. And because it's expressed that lightning beats earth, water beats fire, fire beats wind, and wind beats lightning, that means it can, that means... By default, Earth beats water, and I believe it's also explicitly expressed in the series. I do not remember what episode it is, but I'm pretty sure it is explicitly expressed. However, with everything else I just said that it's expressed, that that is proven, there is no way you could say that Earth doesn't beat water. And with that in mind, I'm just going to end the video here. Uh, if I remember to, I will talk more about this subject in the next one.